Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe and today we're feeling a little bit patriotic. In today's video we're looking at a first for the channel and that is of course some DDR5 RAM. I've covered DDR4 in previous videos but now is the era of DDR5 and obviously recently I posted a video about the new motherboard that I've got that is DDR5 compatible but naturally I needed to get hold of some DDR5 and a very good friend over at Patriot Gaming was only too happy to send me some of the DDR5 RAM that they produce. Now it's not the higher end stuff it is pretty much in mid pair but it is a very special piece of kit. Now we are talking about the Elite 5. White seems to be the latest fashion, the latest trend and it just looks absolutely fantastic. So there's a whole plethora of new white components coming out. Now obviously it's all good having fans and cases and so on but you need your actual main hardware to be white itself. So Patriot have done that with the Viper Elite 5. Now as you can see it is nice and compact but we're going to get into that in a little bit more detail shortly. The Patriot Viper Elite 5 series showcase some of the best looking aesthetics on the market currently with very simple yet understated matte white colouring and a nice simple logo to the upper left merging into the diffused RGB strip along the top what's more they are low profile too so they will allow for plenty of space for mounting almost any colour on your motherboard without any intrusion they are super light too at just 43 gram however RAM module weight is arguably not a necessary statistic but it's nice to know that they won't put a great deal of stress on the dim slots the matte white housing or heat spreader is made of aluminium too which should aid in the cooling of these memory modules. The modules used underneath that heat spreader are a bank of eight high quality Hynix 3GB chipsets operating at a total of 24GB per DIMM that work in union to provide a very reliable and efficient operation. The tertiary timings of the Elite 5 are currently set at 42, 42, 42, 82 under a 1.35 volt load which might not sound the tightest of numbers but this can allow the modules to operate at a respectable 6000 MHz. Speed. A bit of tweaking would likely see those numbers tighten up a little bit. If you are looking for a higher speed set then Patriots also offer plenty of super high speed options but for the price point these are on par with the best value to performance offerings on the market. When it comes down to the nitty gritty of the Elite 5 memory we had it performing comfortably at 6000 MHz under the advertised clock speeds of 42, 42, 42, 82 and when testing it on Ada 64 we were presented with some very respectable read write and copy scores with an equally respectable latency of just 75 nanoseconds which when you compare it with the likes of DDR4 you can see a significant increase in performance almost tripling the transfer speeds of a previous generation. Whilst this is the first DDR5 kit we have had in to review it would be unethical of me to compare it to other DDR5 kits with external sources so for more direct comparisons I will be able to produce them further down the line. We did however put it to the test using SuperPi and and Sandra software suite. When using Sandra to test the kit at 6000 MHz we got an official score of 1.84 KPT. KPT is a scoring modus that Sandra uses, the higher the better, which puts it above a lot of the competition. Granted a lot of the competition used on the suite is DDR4, it does however when you take into consideration the significantly higher clock speeds seen here provide a much more efficient operation. The total watts under stress during testing peaked at just 21 watts for a 48 gigabyte kit which was almost a fourth of some of the DDR4 results. This meant that the scoring was one of the highest ranking with 0.09 kpt per watt of energy draw. In direct comparison you can see that the Viper Elite 5 outshined in memory latent scoring and aggregate memory performance whilst holding its own with the top results for cache and memory bandwidth scores. This overall showcases the impressive impact in efficiency against performance meaning right out of the box you have a very solid performing RAM set that is also a minimum impact in power draw. Super Pi is a slightly more simple form of testing and once again due to lack of direct comparison with other DDR5 modules I compared it to the likes of some DDR4 RAM to give you an insight of the significance in performance boosts. Both tests were done with a 32 megabyte test and the DDR4 completed the testing in 9 minutes 37 seconds compared to the Viper's time of 6 minutes 57 seconds cutting it by almost a third. What's more is that through the entirety of my testing the 
kits maxed out at an impressive 26.3 degrees, with a minimum of 24.8. One of the sticks did maintain a slightly tighter range of temperatures than the other, all whilst pulling no more than 1.365 volts. So some solid results in the testing for the Viper Elite 5 RAM sticks. Now obviously as I mentioned we are very limited in terms of comparisons. This is indeed our first ever DDR5 RAM module set. We will be getting more in to review so hopefully further down the line you'll start to see the performance of this one compared to its competitors in some charts as we go along. So to make sure that you catch up with all the results in the future don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you're notified of any future videos. Now the Elite 5 does indeed include RGB. Now this can be controlled via Patriot's own software suite which is Viper RGB. You simply go to the website, type in your model and then you go down the page and you are presented with an option to download the relevant suite that will be compatible for your RAM set. Once in the suite you can simply choose the colour that you want. You can have it static in one single colour or you can have it static in multiple colours. You can have it in different pulsating rainbow modes, starry night or even off if you don't want it on at all. Which is a bit pointless because you're buying this because not only it's a DDR5 performance kit but also because it does have that RGB. What's more is if you've got other components in your computer that use RGB RGB and you want it to sync up with the RAM that you've got, you can simply use the software suite to basically set everything up in a system altogether. The Elite 5 does have support for Gigabytes, ASRock, MSI, ASUS and other generic RGB suites. The most popular one possibly being Signal RGB. Now what I did find is that with a bit of tweaking in the BIOS I did actually manage to get this to run at 7200 megahertz. So that's a significant increase in performance. What's more is it still ran at 42, 42, 42, 82 and at 1.35 volts. So it ran quite comfortably at those voltages with no issues whatsoever. Rather than testing the units at that increased speed, I decided to leave that until I get more components in to directly review the units against them. And that's pretty much it for this review of the Patriot Elite 5 Viper Gaming RAM in white with RGB strips. An absolutely fantastically solid performer, not, as I mentioned before, the best units out there. Patriot do offer some of the, probably some of the fastest RAM on the market from what I've seen. And after seeing what they've done at CES, I know there's lots more to come. So hopefully in the very near future, I'll get my hands on some other slightly faster units and we can put them to a direct comparison. But if you're after a set of DDR5 RAM with some significant speeds, to really drastically increase the performance of your setup then you wouldn't really go wrong with looking at a set of these. Not only do they look absolutely fantastic, they're a solid performer and as I mentioned earlier you can overclock them with a little bit of work and you can really really push these quite fair. They do also come in different sizes. The one that I have here is a 48 gigabyte kit that consists of two 24 gigabyte modules you can obviously get those in different sizes. Most DDR5 motherboards nowadays will support anywhere up to about 192 gigabytes as standard. So the world is really your oyster when it comes to getting RAM for your system. But yes, that's pretty much it. I've been Gadget Joe. This has been Patriots Elite 5 RAM in RGB white. And that's it. So until next video, goodbye.